The girls want to thank you for your help. We can go see them again whenever you're... All right, then, let's go. You know the drill. New kid, the girls are very thankful for you texting us the abortion records. We are one step away from finding out which girl among us is a two-faced bitch. Unfortunately, the record keeper at the abortion clinic is from Paris, and so everything is written in French. Whoever this two-faced skank is thinks she can outsmart us. We want to help you and the boys play your game, but we just can't have a two-faced bitch out there on the loose. Just get these documents translated for us, and we promise we will join your army. Sparkle! Sunshine! You will never get laid looking like that. Goddamn Mongolians. Hey, no fighting in here. Ah! <laughs> hey, no fighting in here. Welcome to Shitty Walk. Take all the prayers. Only thing we're serving today is Mongolian beef. Mongolian beef, so good. Oh, I just love it. Oh, hello, Mongolian. Shh. Mongolians are watching. They conquered me last week. Act natural. Oh, yeah, Mongolian beef. Mmm, so tasty, right? Wow. It's not tasty at all. It's gross. Don't eat it. You eat a Mongolian beef, you shit your pants for five days. All right, Mongolian. Please, you gotta help me out. The Mongolians all live like rats in the tower of a piece next door. I'll keep the adults occupied here. You go top a tower and beat up all their kids. Beat up all the Mongolian kids. The Mongolian think this neighborhood not a safe place. They move away. Go, go, beat up the little Mongolian kids. Oh. Hello, Mongolian! Mongolian beef smell like a rhino rip. There's a rumor the girls have a secret base, but I've never seen it. of the, well, of the Knights of Kind Heartedness.
you're just sleepy. Well, not being grounded was nice while it lasted. There you go, kid. All this shitty chicken you can carry. You do good work. I'll help you fuck up Mongolians anytime you want. Not bosses, though. They too tough. You call me with this. I give you one per day. The best way to get to Canada is north. Well, well, you supposed to be some kind of knight of the round table? Welcome to ye old Skeeter's Tavern. Tell you what, good sir knight, I got rats in the basement. Big uns. That's why I got stuck with Her Majesty's goddamn health code violation. You think you're a real dungeon dweller? Then go clear out them rats out of my basement. Well, what are you waiting for? Make fucking haste.
don't think I like you very much. I don't think I like you very much. Damn if you ain't a noble knight after all. All right, kid, here you go. The Well of Insight says your future is cloudy. Oh wait, that's Birdcraft. I guess this means we're friends for now, but I still don't like you, new kid. We elves craft the finest shit in the land. What's this? 
something the new kid needs our help with. Sank femmes ont sabi un envertement. What language is that? It's some kind of strange orcish. I've seen this language before. In the kingdom to the north. Oh, the kingdom to the north. Whatever's written on these documents is somehow the key to us recruiting the girls to our army. Is, is that what you're trying to tell us, new kid? Come on, sp spit it out. Getting that document translated isn't going to be easy. To breach the kingdom to the north, you will have to assume another identity. Your name is no longer Commander Douchebag. It is now Larry Babinski from Cleveland. The quickest way to the kingdom to the north is through the Lost Forest. Head north, then north again, north, and then north. You better get a real passport photo first or you won't make it past border control. Perhaps you would like the services of a level 10 bard. I am a master in the art of songs and jokes. I was wrong about you, human. I was blinded by racism. Hi, here to get your passport photo taken? Just head into the room there and we'll get started. Step between the lights, please. That's great. Okay, smile. Oh, do you have anything else you could wear? Could you try something else on? Yeah, it's just... It's just not working. Let's try that other outfit. Uh, no. Tell you what, how about just no shirt at all? Let's try that. Nope, with this light, we're just gonna need you to lose that shirt. I'm just not feeling that shirt. Yeah, that's gonna work better. Here we go. Oh, those pants don't work with the lighting. Could you roll up your pants or, you know what, just take, take the pants off too. Those pants just aren't working for me. If you want a passport, you're gonna have to lose the pants, pal. Okay, that's good, really nice. Yes, very nice. How about we lose the underwear? You sick son of a bitch! Stop him! You'll never take me alive! Fellas, we can work this out!
Wow, good job, kid. You're quite the fighter. All right, let's get this over with. Say cheese. Congrats, kid. You have your first passport. Congrats, kid. You have your first passport. The best way to get to Canada is north. Welcome to the Bank of South Park. Wise move, young man, and a bold first step towards your financial future. We'll just take that money and employ significant leverage using computer-assisted high-frequency trading and index fund rebalancing to buy ahead of certain stock movements, and it's gone! Welcome to the Bank of South Park. Would you... Sorry, kid, come back when you have some money to invest. See a doctor. Maybe we should just stay put and wait for someone to rescue us. 
Yeah, I think we should probably go that way. No, nope, you see? No matter which way you go, I block you. Ah, I see you have a passport. All right, hand it over. Papers appear to be in order. Very well. I hereby grant thee access to the great nation of Canada. Open the gate! Oh, I'll do it. Hold on. There we go. You're not from around here, are you? <laughs> Woo! Who the fuck just walks into someone's house? Best stay here in town. Those dire wolves can rip your anus apart in mere seconds. You're not from around here, are you? Welcome to the shop. Can I interest you in my wares? Ottawa is the capital of all Canada. Welcome to the Bank of Canada. Oh-ho, American money. The current exchange rate is one point... Come back, son! Welcome to the Bank of Canada. Oh-ho, American money. The current exchange rate is 1.24 to the dollar. Welcome to the Bank of... Oh-ho, I'm... Welcome to the bank. Oh, ho, America. Welcome to the shop. Can I interest you in my wares? Welcome to the Ottawa Clinic. Are you here for an HIV test? Come back whenever you need healing or another HIV test. Talking to the prince is the best part of the tour. Or the candelabras, depending on what you're into. Sorry, guy, I'm on duty. It's a self-guided tour. You're gonna have to figure it out on your own. Oh, hail the Prince and Princess of Canada! Hail, yeah! Well, well, what have we here? A hero from the South? Not just anyone can pass the guard at the Great Border. You must have beaten the odds and obtained a passport. I am the Prince of Canada, and this is my lovely wife. How can I help you? What's this? Hmm. Sorry, but I don't know what this says. I've seen this language before, but I believe it's only spoken in a specific part of Canada. I suggest you travel west of here and seek out the Earl of Winnipeg. He can tell you where in Canada they speak this freakish tongue. But I warn you, the wilderness of Canada is filled with dire wolves. You know what dire wolves are, right? They're like wolves, but they're dire. Have you picked up your photos from the gift shop yet?
Would you like another picture with the prince and princess? Hold it right there! Here are your photos with the prince and princess. Would you like two 8x10s or six 5x7s? All right, there you go. You can exit right through there. Well, I, I would have picked the 5x7s. You already got your photos. Go on, get out. Well, here we go again. Welcome to Winnipeg. Welcome to Winnipeg. 
This is a conservative township, so mind your P's and Q's. Lumberjacking's dangerous whack. Whatever you want with your teeth with all these diapers, man. You know what Winnipeg is known for? Uh, neither do we. Welcome to the shop. Can I interest you in my wares? Two Canadian monks live on a secluded island in the middle of Vancouver. This poor citizen was killed by a dire bear. You know what a dire bear is, right? It's like a bear, but it's dire. Sorry, but you know what a dire bear is. Sorry, buddy, but there's dire bears up there. You know what a dire bear is, right? They say that two Canadian monks live on a secluded island in the middle of Vancouver. <laughs> Ah, yes. This writing is definitely Canadian. But why should I help a foreigner when Winnipeg is completely overrun with dire bears? Tell you what, kill off all the dire bears in the north of town and I'll help you however I can. so I don't get grounded. Jove, you've done it! Look at all these dire bear pelts! Now I can finally make a dire road. All right, give me that document. Mm, yes. This is actually written in the language of Eastern Canadian. The Minister of Montreal can translate it. But I'm afraid the Prince has imprisoned the Minister of Montreal in the caverns of Quebec. I will speak with the Prince. Return to him and he should let you speak with the Minister. Boy, oh boy, I will have the most dire robe in all of Canada. I understand you wish me to release the Minister of Montreal. I'd like to help you, but I think this might be another ploy by the Bishop of Banff to have Montreal allowed back into the kingdom. Some Canadians think our nation should be united again, my lord. Shut up! Who the fuck are you? Listen, it's all because the Bishop of Banff is a liberal. <laughs> 
He does these things just to make life difficult for me. I must ask you to perform another noble quest. Go to Banff and kill the bishop. <gasps> kill the bishop of Banff? Shh, you, shh. Kill the bishop of Banff for me and bring me his balls as proof. Do this and I shall allow you into the catacombs of Quebec. Make haste! Have you been to Newfoundland? You won't find better sodomy in all of Canada. Welcome to the shop. Can I interest you in my wares? Banff Canadians are quite religious. other people with opinions by God. Sorry, God. Praise Christ. Praise God. Praise God and Christ. What's this? Who the fuck hits a bishop? Assassin! neighbor. will never know I'm alive. Please, take these dire pig testicles and tell the prince they're mine.
Maybe if we replace his balls with the pig balls, he'll come back to life again. Dad, did you kill him? Yay, the bishop's balls! Now religion won't interfere with government. How can we ever repay you? You said you would free the minister of Montreal, my lord. Sorry, no can do. With both the bishop and the minister taken care of, my throne is secure. But my liege, we made a promise. Shh, you. Shh. Quickly, you must speak with the Duke of Vancouver. He can help you get into the catacombs of Quebec. Give the Duke this. Hurry now. <laughs> 